We have tap waters from all across the country. Let's start with something from Colorado. This contains an amount of lead that is well within what standard limits deem drinkable. Does anybody want to drink lead? Would you want to drink lead? <laughs> hey, a fresh cup of lead. No one wants to drink lead, but believe it or not, we are consuming lead through our drinking water. Concentration of lead may vary based on our place of residence. Although the main sources of lead exposure are ingestion of paint chips and inhalation of dust, according to U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, 20% or more of human exposure to lead may come from lead-contaminated drinking water. This was the case for Flint, Michigan water crisis as well. The problem began when the city switched from Detroit water system to Flint River to reduce cost. Because of corrosive water from the river and old city infrastructure, lead started leaching out of water distribution system and thousands of residents were exposed to extremely high concentration of lead. Lead is a cumulative toxicant that can affect multiple body systems, especially nervous system. There are no known safe blood lead levels. Even the concentrations as low as 5 microgram per liter can cause behavioral and learning issues in children. During Flint water crisis, point of use filters were distributed to the residents in order to reduce lead concentration in drinking water. However, the effectiveness of such filter is yet to be defined. With wide variety of point of use filters available in the market, it is very difficult to choose the desired one. Which one is most effective? Which one is easy to use? Is it under budget? Our objective in this study is to test the efficiency and the usability of commonly used point of use filters. We chose six filters for different types, faucet mounted from Birta and Pearl, pitcher from Birta and Pearl, and straw filters from Cleansip and Life Straw. We spiked the cold station water with lead to the concentration of 150 parts per billion. We passed the contaminated water through the filters and then tested lead concentrations in the effluent water samples using mass spectrometer. We found that, except CleanSip, all filters reduced the concentration below the EPA action limit of 15 parts per billion, and the lowest concentration was from per facet mounted filter. Next, we tested usability with System Usability Scale Survey to assess the perceived usability of the filters. Results show that, except Birta facet mounted filter, all filters received scores above the average. Per picture and CleanSip straw filters had the highest acceptance from the participants. Based on these results, the most effective and user-friendly filters are faucet-mounted and pitcher filters from per manufacturer. In the straw filter category, live straw is much more effective in removing lead than CleanSip, although the latter is found to be more user-friendly. After the completion of the study, a few recommendations have been determined. Firstly, we recommend for the users to always look for products that are approved and certified by organizations such as NSF or WQA while selecting point of use filters. Secondly, for manufacturers, especially Birta faucet mounted filters, we suggest some easier, cohesive way to insert filter cartridge into the filter cup to avoid any splashing during installation. Additionally, again for manufacturers, putting short sentences in the instruction manual along with the images would help users a lot.